You know, after having watched it back, I, the first thing that comes to mind is I just feel so misled. And I feel like I wasn't given all of the information, even though you did have all of the information at the times when I was making those decisions on whether I wanted to leave or not. So that is something I didn't expect. I didn't know. Um, so I think that really is what hurts the most for me is I, I, I truly feel betrayed. I'm absolutely incredibly sorry that you feel that way and you have every right to feel that way. I can do nothing more than apologize for what I put you through. And I feel terrible because I watch it back myself and I see the emotion, the pain that you felt. And all I wish is that I could have taken that all away and found a better way to approach it the way that I did. But I promise you, I had no malicious intent with any of my actions. I just didn't go about things in the best way. Yeah, I don't think you're malicious um, at all. But I, I do think that I had given you chances in the moment to be more honest with me when even at the rose ceremony when, when you said you were being transparent, but your transparency had conditions. And when you told me that you were going to leave Iceland with the woman you loved the most and you saw my visceral reaction. And then it cuts to, or the previous week, you were telling Susie that you loved her the most. So you knew that that would be a deal breaker for me. I felt before now, before having watched it back, I truly felt that we were on our own journey, as with you and Rachel, as with you and Susie, as you said, you'd compartmentalized our relationships. Watching it back, it's everything is so muddled and you were clearly pinning us against each other. It really seemed like a competition, which I had expressed to you that I didn't want to be a part of. And it seemed like you had your mind set on Susie way before you wanted to tell us. And you kept going back to Rachel and I, oh, I want to try this. Oh, I want you to meet my family. But I can't stop thinking about Susie. But I love Susie the most. So I just feel extremely dismissed. It's OK if, if I'm not going to be the one with you at the end. I think that's what the journey is about, is to see if you and I are compatible for each other, if we're the best match for each other, but not if I'm the best woman. Because who's making those decisions? Yeah. I understand all of that. And I just want you to know again that, yeah, I did feel the way I felt with her about having those feelings. Um, but I also had love for you all, and I felt that one conversation could change everything. Clayton, and I, you, I know it's hard, but it doesn't. The, when you say love, when you say you love someone, you're assuming responsibility to protect them, to care for them, and to not hurt them. And you didn't do any of those things. And, and I know, I know, I know that you had really, really deep feelings for us. And, and I appreciate that. And like I said, I don't think you're malicious, but I don't think you know the weight your words carry. I take words as vow, but your actions could not back up any of those words. Hey, Clayton, do you regret telling Gabby that you were intimate with and in love with multiple women? You know, I felt that I needed to be fully transparent. I, I really did. I, I didn't want to withhold anything because I knew that if I didn't tell you all and we were at the end of it, you'd see that all back. And so I wanted to be able But to... you didn't tell me that you love Susie the most, which is what would have really hurt me. And I don't have the same needs as Susie. I'm not Susie. And neither is Rachel. So you have to treat us as individuals. But you never asked if that would be something that I would want to know. You just assumed. And even in the platform that you said it, there was no conversation available. Absolutely. One of the biggest things that I've learned among many is I never, I didn't ask enough questions and I made too many assumptions that were wrong. And I wish I hadn't done that. And that's something that I have learned through this entire experience. And I apologize for not figuring that out until after it was all said and done. Well, Gabby, Clayton, I want to thank you both so much for being here and being so open and honest about this. I know breakups are never, ever easy. Gabby, we really hope you do find love here in the near future. Thank you so much. Let's hear it for Gabby, everybody. Yeah.